guys welcome back to my channel again the dude bro so today i'm going to do a cool and interesting card trick over here so it's a completely impromptu card trick which i have over here today and i hope you all like it and i'm sure that you will also like it because it's one of my all time favorite card tricks over here so now let's begin so i could hand this deck over to the spectator and they could go ahead and give as many cuts to the deck as they want so after they have cut it they give the deck to me and i just spread out all the cards and tell to them that all the cards over here are different as you can see so no two cards are same that means in order and then i could just tell the spectator to take out any card which they like so suppose they take this card out so this is a selection and i'm looking away and you could have a look at the card okay so this is their card right now I have divided the pile in two decks over here as you can see and this card which is a six of spade I saw now uh, but in the real performance there is no need to see it so it's a six of spade over here I will just go ahead and keep it somewhere in the middle over here so as you can see I just insert it in the middle and down it goes now I am going to do something different so what i mean by that is that i will just take one deck and overturn it like this and then mix all the cards together so now i will mix the cards so some cards are face up and other some cards are face down and I will just insert all these cards and keep the deck down. Okay. So now with my hands I will just cover it up and then if I snap my finger all the cards will be turned upside again like this and one card over here is upside down and that's that selection the six of spade so that's how you do the trick and now for the tutorial yeah. so this is the tutorial of the trick which i showed just now in the performance and this trick is very very easy to perform as you can all see now in the tutorial so you could just hand over the deck over to the spectator and they could just go ahead and chuck you as many cards as they want or else give the cards some shuffles, some overhand shuffles, anything that it be completely impromptu country. So they would just shuffle up the cards as much as they want and then when I take the cards from the hand all I have to do is just crowd the cards out in a shabby manner. That means it should not be like this and then square it up. No. It should all be shabby like over here some and over here and then over here and over here. And I'll, and you will know just now why you need like that. So it's all shabby over here as you can see. Now what you have to do is just keep your fingers like this in this position. And as if you are squaring the up. But behind their back all you have to do is just slide this card out. The last card. And just keep it over here and bring it forward but it would be not seen in front like this as you can see so just slide out this card and then you just turn the whole deck over like this that means what you have done just now is just taken one card upside down and rest all are in the same manner so let's do it once again you just show all the cards to the spectator take the bottom card turn it over turn it over like this and just drop all the cards over here so in the spectator will only see like this so all the cards are different now i will turn the deck over but actually what you have done is 
just overturn one card from the other cards so after that you have to just spread out the cards in your hand like this and don't do the remain spread because it may be weak so just do the just spread out the cards in the hand and they will pick one card out and while you are looking at the card what you have to do is just cut randomly just cut anywhere you want okay you could cut anywhere you want and then what you have to do is keep one deck over here and the other deck you just turn it over because the other side is also looking backward so you just take some cut the cards and this hand should turn, be turned over well, so the spectator will not notice this also because they would be looking at their selection so after they have selected the card you tell them that you are taking their card and just inserting inside ok so now what you have done is just in front of all the cards you have only two upside down cards over here as you can see but the spectator will not know because this should be as much squared up as possible and now you tell them that I turn over this deck and don't go ahead and shuffle the cards like this because it will flash that the cards are upside down already so in the trick I did shuffling like this you just catch hold of here like that and just move down slowly at the corners and then insert the corners down like this so after you did before you do this you must remember one small thing over here while you are doing this you have to remember that after you shuffle you must not flash the cards and also this overturned card should go in the second position and this first card on top so remember that always it should go like this this overturned over in the second position this first card in the first position and then you could insert it in and tell the audience that all uh, most of the cards are face up and most of the cards are face down and you insert them up and what you have actually done is just turn one card upside down and one more card upside down so there are two upside down cards over here actually but while you are spreading it out you just spread out the hands like this and keep your palm over here and just spread out over here so that you just do not go ahead and flash this card you need to cover this card with your hand and tell them that only one card is upside down and that is your card and while the spectator is amazed you, what you have to do is just flip this card and you could give this deck to the spectator and tell them that there are no chickens or anything in this so that's how you do the trick i hope you like this trick very much and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you guys